Welcome to the press center of the FIDE Candidates Tournament. The first press conference of the day is with uh, Vaishali and Nurgur Salimova. Vaishali won her game. Uh, it was a spectacular one. You had this peace sacrifice, right? And uh, all this attack going. So could you actually tell a little bit about this critical moment? Until then, until you sacrificed the peace, it all seemed pretty calm. But then suddenly there was a storm at the board. Uh, if you you can actually just operate the mouse and take us through the most critical. Oh, this bishop d4 is a very interesting idea. Like uh, it's a new move. Uh, yeah, I prepared this. Uh, okay, uh, uh, bishop d7. I didn't know, but I just continued like the plan I know. Just h4. Uh, just go with the attack, right? Yeah. Uh, did you, did you know this move, bishop d4? Was it came? Did it come as a surprise? I tried to remember my preparation, but I didn't remember. So I guess I didn't know the move. Okay, bishop d7 looked, I mean, just a normal continuation, but then I, I felt like it was too passive. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so you continued with this uh, plan, yeah, uh, attacking uh, plan? Like, I had a lot of tempting options. Like, I can start with bishop d3 or uh, knight g5 first. Uh, I spent some time to figure it out and uh, I did not really consider knight g4 when I played bishop d3 but uh, once she played I was then this knight f7 was in the air and I spent a lot of time calculating it. Uh, it looked really interesting but uh, okay bishop c4 king f8 is forced queen d3 I was hoping bishop f6 or bishop h4 uh, mainly bishop f6 actually. Yes so here probably bishop f6 is the main move. Um, okay. So Nurgul, what was going through your mind? Uh, why, why didn't you choose bishop f6, like the, the, the like this line, for example? Well, the line she's showing, the queen f5, and yeah, this uh, I think knight f2 is possible. And, um, okay, whichever rook, something like this. I thought I'll go queen b3 and mm -hmm. take on f6, uh, for example, c6. Something like this. I thought, okay, I'll just play. Uh, I was also getting like low on clock, uh, like I also spent a lot of time calculating knight f7 so I didn't want to change my mind. I also didn't see much of an option here uh, yeah, because if f3 she can take a g5 and gh4 there is no attack and uh, okay this is the final position I thought I can just play. So bishop g5 came as a surprise, I think here I should be winning. Did you think knight g4 was a blunder? No, no, uh, I think... Yeah, also it was really hard to suggest him. Okay, first I wanted to push d5, I think. But uh, it was not working uh, for some reason. Like yeah, push d5 like, here, right? Yeah, okay, I, I felt like I, I need to do something. I mean, I'm I'm getting made. It like, mm -hmm. was very unpleasant. But I think uh, I saw I saw bishop takes... That's okay. I'll yeah, I, I think I saw bishop takes f6, bishop f6, bishop h7. Uh, F8 and knight takes F7. King F7, queen D5. And if bishop E6, queen H5 wins. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't do that, so I I thought that was worst already. And then I changed my mind about D5. I was actually calculating D5 for quite some time. I was already low on time, so... Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I think this is the problem with D5. Uh, I also kind of saw this line and... Uh, yeah, it was already difficult to like... I mean, difficult to suggest a move for... Black. But to knight g4, I think, uh, it, like, only way for white, I mean, maybe it's winning, I don't know, but knight, except knight yeah, f7, knight you don't a... really have uh, what to do, yeah? Yeah, knight f7 is like... Uh, it's, yeah, a it's, move, it's a critical move, it's a critical move. You either play okay. knight f7, or, I'm or you have yeah. to yes, go back yes, and then, yeah. And, uh, yes, yeah, so apart from bishop g5... Bishop h4, I also calculated, but yeah, bishop yeah, h4, I, I no. didn't like it. Yeah, I think I should be winning there. Uh, yes. Okay, okay maybe we're just winning after knight f7. No, but actually, this bishop, you can play bishop f6 in this... Uh, At this line, you This told. line, yeah. Okay, I stopped in the half, so... Yeah, this knight yeah, f2 sure. is important and... Uh, because here, that's the end of this line after bishop f6. It looks like black is still in yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah, black should be fine, but uh, I didn't know, like, this is the best thing I can do. From that position. From yeah. that position, mm -hmm. yes. So. Uh, yeah, and after bishop g5, um, and here's my question to you, why didn't you just take the bishop? So why you actually preferred king b1? 
Oh, I can take like queen g5. Maybe she go. She can go queen f5 or something. Like king b1. No. I can take h5 any time, and I still have queen h7, queen g6 in the air. It's just if you, you after you play king b1, there is another opportunity for black to play this. Oh, the same line she can. So she <laughs> yeah, can go back to the uh, same line. You yeah, know? exactly. But uh, and, uh, okay, if she didn't play the previous one, I was okay. <laughs> So maybe okay. it's some psychological trick. If she didn't play the previous uh, move, that it's probably she will not play on this move, uh, yes. right? <laughs> but I was hoping for h g5. Like I thought it was the only chance I saved this game. So. so if white takes on g5, what was your plan here? Like what? What would you Just do? Just queen g5 and some queen f5 to stop your. Yeah, king b1, queen, queen f5, and uh, yes. like there is no clear attack for me. Probably I should be better, but uh, yeah, but it's I'm not game. mated at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's important. So, Okay, bishop g5, she's hoping for a g5, so I thought, okay, let me play king b1 and, yeah. Okay. And the game continued, uh, so after bishop g5, king b1, it was knight e5, and here after bishop b5, it actually looks like black has already lost, because you mm -hmm. take all these pawns, right? So, yeah. d6. Yeah, and then white just has too many pawns. Um, Vaishali, how does it feel to win a beautiful game like this? Uh, is there a difference uh, in winning just a game or a beautiful game? Yeah, to win a nice game, it always feels nice. I mean, uh, result is one part, but also winning a nice game feels good also. And actually, an interesting question uh, from a loser standpoint. Is it maybe less bitter? To lose when your opponent played something beautiful, like you're a part of a masterpiece here. <laughs> Does it feel a bit better, maybe? I mean, loss is a loss, so I don't yeah. think I feel good about it. <laughs> but um, yeah, tournament continues. Take the lessons, keep going. Do we have any questions from the journalists to the girls? Uh, William, please. The question is for both of you. Um, you girls are really young, so whatever is the outcome of the candidate tournament? So do you think this is just the beginning for you two? Oh, yes, definitely. Uh, this is our first candidates, and uh, uh, yeah, we are here to play our best. And, yeah. and what about you, Nordir? Well, I, I hope this is just the beginning and we will have many more candidates, both of us. So, yeah, I mean, we are just doing our best, trying. And, yeah. Do we have any more questions? And if not, uh, thank you, ladies, and I see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.